Hi everyone, this is Mickey, and I want to share with you a little bit about how we might pray with our children during this time. Some of you may already share mealtime prayer and tuck your children in at night with a blessing and prayer. These times of ritual are so important for each of us. They connect us to one another. Shared story and ritual make us family. And many of these stories and rituals connect us to our larger faith family. Because prayer requires presence, it is good to set aside time and space for prayer. A prayer table is something that you might want to have in your own home, something suitable for the family to use and still something your child will be able to interact with freely. First, I suggest that you select a sturdy table, a low shelf, maybe a coffee table or an end table. Something that the child can actually sit up to so that they can see the top. If it's too tall, you might want a little stool for them. We would dress our table with a cloth. During the season of Lent, we use purple and raw linen at the cathedral. You might have a tablecloth or a napkin or a pillowcase. Um, I found this lovely scarf that a friend had given me. Even a paper bag though, if a child wanted to take um, a paper bag and decorate it as a tablecloth, that would work beautifully. Um, to prepare our table, I would suggest that simplicity is best. We can place a beautiful image. I have a Good Shepherd image from Hong Kong. Um, you might have a Madonna and child or a lovely icon or even something from nature, a seashell or a rock that reminds us of God's creation. During Lent, we do away with our floral decorations and we use bare branches or greenery. So a few twigs from the garden would be nice. The Holy Bible. At the cathedral, we use the NRSV version, but any Bible that you have at home would do. And you may choose to use a candle for your family gatherings. This past Sunday, our Psalm reading was Psalm 23. It is a much loved Psalm and one that is prayed the world over. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord my whole life long. With children, it is sometimes good for us to remember that rich food is offered and not too much of it. So sometimes we will take a psalm, like Psalm 23, and contemplate just a verse or two. We can enter into this as a conversation with God. The Lord is my shepherd. What is a shepherd? How does a shepherd care for his sheep? I have all that I need. What are the things that I need? 
God, I want to think on the ways that you meet my needs. A child may have a verbal response or they may have silence. We honor both. We may respond to the reading with a simple time of breath in and breath out. Bodies are still and ready to hear God. Remember that prayer is not only voicing our thanks and our needs, it is also, and perhaps most importantly, listening. Can we notice the sound of our breath? Notice the bird song or the rustle of leaves? How do we feel after hearing the scripture? Is there a word that stands out for us? This is not a time where you as parent are responsible to provide answers. I often find that prayer is simply a time to cultivate presence and to sit with my questions, a time to celebrate and develop relationship with God. <clears throat> we can think of prayer as both our speaking and listening to God. It can take many forms. We can offer the work of our hands, maybe some artwork, as Millie mentioned earlier, our stillness, our dance, our song as prayer. Children have a great capacity for prayer, and their prayer doesn't look the same as mine or yours. The young child before the age of six looks at the world with awe and wonder and is not as naturally inclined to ask for things but to offer praise and thanksgiving. Perhaps this is why Jesus told us to turn and become like children. At around six years of age, children become more aware of horizontal relationships. Developing community is a key factor. While petition is part of our prayer and may, may be uppermost on our minds right now, I hope that we can enter into the child's prayer See the face of God that they are able to see. Recognize and respond to the many gifts that are already ours. I hope this ritual will bring joy to your home. Maybe you'll want to share a picture of your own prayer table with us so that we can look and see the ways that our families are celebrating at this time. I love you, I pray for you, and I look forward to seeing you again.